The Rutgers Scarlet Knights are in the first time since 1991, ending the longest drought for any power conference team. Would have ended it last year were it not for the pandemic. Had to do it again this year and followed up a tremendous season a year ago with another one and got themselves a bid to the dance and thrilled now to be joined by Rutgers head coach Steve Peichel. Coach, congratulations, first of all. I know you've heard about the drought, and frankly, you had very little to do with it, but it still must be a relief to get this team in. What are the emotions you felt as you saw your team's name in the bracket? You know, just like you said, Dave, it was a two-year journey, really, um, because last year at the end, they talked about it all the time, you know, the drought and, and those kind of things, and our guys, you know, have been hearing it for a year, and then with the pandemic here, but... You know, just real proud, you know, and happy for our university. Rutgers is an unbelievable place with great people. What a great institution. Um, great alums. And we have an unbelievable fan base, too. So just really happy. And I'm most excited, too. We got through this whole year COVID-free, without a pause. You know, the job that our guys did. And now they get rewarded and, and get a chance to play for a national championship. So, um, you know, excited, thankful. You know, for my staff, I got a great staff. Brandon Knight, Carl Hobbs, Steve Hain. You know, those guys do, do an unbelievable job. And I got a great athletic director, Pat Hobbs. So happy for all the people that put in a lot, a lot of work, make this a real successful year. All right, so first up, you get Clemson. Team out of the ACC, Brad Brownell, really known for having great defensive teams. They have some very good wins during the course of this year. How much do you know about the Tigers at this point? You know, you know, as, as like anybody, you watch games on TV, and so I've gotten a chance to, you know, watch them play a few times. Brad's been one of the best coaches in the country. He's done an unbelievable job at every stop that he's had. Um, they got really good guards. Um, you know, um, they've won a couple games in our league, too. Um, so they've beaten some of our opponents and, and some of our conference uh, members. So uh, they're going to be very challenge, challenging team. The ACC is a great conference, too. Uh, but we've been challenged. We've been challenged at the highest level here in our league. We have the seventh toughest strength of schedule in the country. So uh, we've played a lot of teams, too. I think it's going to be an awesome game. But much respect for Clemson and, and the job that Brad does. Hey, Steve, John Beeline here. Are you still at the uh, at the Brickyard there? Are you still at the Indy 500? <laughs> I, I'm going to start running around the track a few times. Coach they, <laughs> and did all your guys know what the heck you were looking at? Did, 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 was there any stories out of today that was interesting? Hey, you know, just to get the guys here, and, and they actually took us around the track with our with our bus. And our bus driver was going fast, coach. We were, and our guys were chanting them on. You know, uh, you, you know, it's just been really good here to be in Indy, and, yeah. and the, the way our tournament went off, and um, how they did a great job of keeping everybody safe. And you know, now, um, you know, we get a chance to stay here and, and get another opportunity to keep playing. And I love my team, and I want to make sure we don't put these uniforms away, coach. No, that's that's for sure. That's for sure. Great season, right? The best is yet to come. Good luck. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Congratulations.